Hello and welcome, the Innate Gamer here, with my trading to Team of the Year Ramos series. And as you can see, this Aguilar sold, so I made about 10k on him, because I picked him up for about 25k, I think. And he sold for 36k, and that's because he's price fixed, so I took advantage of that. And you can always take advantage of price fixes, it's just a great way to make profit. And these guys, I forgot to list them overnight. So they're still up, so he must have sold within the hour, which is really good. So now I am going to show. I'm just having a look if there are any others up, and there aren't. I'm going to show you how to find cheap silver in forms because somebody in the last video commented it, and I said I'd make a video. So here's a video on it. Um, so basically, what you do is minimum price 5k, and that's to get rid of all the rubbish um, silver in forms. 10k and then minimum price 15k by now minimum price so 5 10 15 that is the gist of it. Just remember 5 10 15 and you should be able to remember it really well that's not the up 20 yeah. i was having a little uh so we've got one here oh it's two hours so as you can probably tell at the moment there's none up but it all depends on the time if that makes sense he might be a good uh deal i'll just keep an eye on him it all depends on the time because uh what's it called it's early morning well early morning it's 10 30. uh it's not many people uh you know online and selling their silver in forms so not many are up so you need to do this sort of method maybe you know after four o'clock uh gmt uk time you know because that's when a lot of people come home and they list things because a lot of kids play and, you know, they get home from school and they play FIFA, they sell their guys, stuff like that. So now I'm going to have a look for some cheap uh, gold in forms. And hopefully this brings up some. Oh, here we are. See, there's already... So... Yeah, as you can tell, this method, I'll, I'll go back and show you how you do it. Oh, a centre mid Lucas. He might be a good um, thing to bid on. So as you can tell, this is a good little method. It it brings you players that you okay. Oh nine five. You know I may bid on him even if I have to quick sell him. This is a really good method because it can get you cheap in forms. And even if you win two or three in an hour, you know that's two or three you wouldn't have otherwise if that makes sense. You know. So that's just that's my view on it. Uh, Adler, he's. I've got enough keeblings probably. I might invest in a keebling. I I'll probably do a team of the week investment video. Who you should invest in? This guy looks all right. I'm up to two hours though, so there's no point really. So I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back. What's been working well recently? A bit of Hellas League. Uh, should I do that? I'll have. I'll just have a quick look. I won't. I won't spend ages on it like I have in the last like two, three videos, because I understand it gets a bit boring. Uh, Fed Fat uh, Cedars forty. Uh, what's his lowest by now? We need to do silver. Lowest by now is what like thirteen k maybe. Thirteen k. Oh god, I need to do Greece. Greece. Oh. Okay, so you got Maniates. See, there's loads up now, but at the time when I was trading in him, there wasn't. But he's the only 442 one. So I'm tempted. At, for a 442, there's none up, I don't think, is there? 442. Where you be? Okay, there's one up, and he's the cheapest as well. So we'll buy him and we'll quick auction him, and him for about 6,500. And six six, so we'll make a cut of K on him. Hopefully, if he sells, and if he doesn't, he doesn't. You know, I'll just list him for lower because I should make profit. Oh, I won this link, and I was just wondering what the hell. I thought I didn't realise I was selling him, but I just realised <laughs> I, I won. The, I put a bid on him, and I appear to have won him. And I think that's quite a good deal, although I'm not sure. I wondered why I had so fewer, uh, you know, coins. I was like, hmm. So yeah, this is it worth get let's have a look at this Buddha bet. Who does he play for? He plays for <coughs> League One and he's Algerian. So League One League One come here. Position 
uh, right mid. And yeah, so yesterday I did my first um, ever live stream. It was a bit of Minecraft. If anyone is interested, it's on my channel. Definitely go check it out. I was with Gremlin Games HD. A lot of fun. He's a good friend of mine. Go, go check him out. Uh, Algeria, I forget who he plays for. What's his lowest by now? Like 12k. What should it be like 12k or something? Like really pointless. Yeah, no point. No point trading in him. So before you bid on guys, always look at their lowest by now because you know that could show important. Uh, and then Norwich, Ruddy, good keeper. He is in uh, real life. Uh, goalkeeper Norwich. So did anyone watch the league league cup? League cup final, yeah. League cup. That seems wrong in my head, but it probably is a league cup, yeah. Um, did anyone watch it? Yes, Swansea beat Bradford 5-0. It was uh, quite a one-sided match, to be honest. I've heard. I didn't. I didn't watch it myself. I was. Um, I was playing cricket. I'd later, so I didn't get to see it, unfortunately. And did anyone watch the Six Nations? Scotland beat. Um, Who Scotland beat? Scotland beat Ireland. It was a bit of a one-sided game, to be honest. So this one that I'm watching now looks to be a very good deal. So I'm going to bid like 10k on him. I'm going to bid 10.5 because that's, you know, profit if he sells, which hopefully he will. So this Lucas, uh, Lucas, uh, Lucas, Lucas uh, and it's his Liga de Brazil version as well, which is very good. And he played for, who did he play for? I don't remember. Um, uh, who did he play for? Uh, goal. This will bring it up. He should show up here. That one that I'm about to bid on, anyway. Uh, ooh. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten who he played for. SBFC. Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo. There we are. So is he the only like centre mid? Yeah. What's his lowest by now? Like, twelve k. Twelve k. Okay, twelve k is his lowest. 12-5, yeah. I'm not going to bid on that one because I don't think that's... Oh, it's because I'm on bloody 4 3 two, one. Oh, God, there's loads. <laughs> that would have been awkward, wouldn't it? Do not make that mistake. 12-5, uh, okay. What's the cheapest, like, 4 3 Because 4 3 very popular, um, expensive formation. Because you need centre mid, so you always have... So there's only Jadsons... Again, so 46 pace, bloody hell. I swear it used to be quite quick in the last, um, like, FIFAs. Or am I making that up completely in my head? 16k, 16.5, so about six, 15 to 50. So about 15k is his lowest. If I send the 15k, he will be the lowest. So, we'll bid up to, I don't know, 13k, maybe, yeah. Probably about there, but I'll do the old ninja bid. So now let's check out Lincoln, and he's silver, and he plays for Cortiba, I believe. Yes, see, I am so on it. 4-3-3. There's none up in a 4-3-3 for that price. There's none. Am I doing something wrong? Is he a 4? There's none up. 4-3-3 centre mid ones. Any. Well, any. There's one up for 12 two fifty, but that's, you know thing oh but mine's still cheaper anyway so there's none up so i can list him for what i want so we're gonna go 15k 15 250 if you want him you you pay that i'll do 14k so that we still get our uh, 14 250 so that we get good profit and if he sells so now i have two up in a 433 for 14 250 and 14 250 <laughs> both are up for that price and so now it looks like a price fix unfortunately but you know Whatever, it should still... Hopefully they'll sell. So, Ruddy, 2 minutes, and 2 minutes, 52. So, he goes for about 16k, 17k. So, if I can get get 15k, roughly, I think. So, if I can get him for around that price, there should be profit to be had, to be honest. So, I'm going to definitely stick by and have a look. Let's look at Julius, and he plays for Athletic Monero. I only know that because of um, Ronaldinho. <laughs> that, that's my knowledge and if he doesn't play for them now this will be embarrassing no he does yes uh it's 19k has he been pri he's been price fixed hasn't he yeah silly price fixers what you doing 
19k. So if I can pick him up for anywhere 17k, you know, we're in for a nice, nice amount of profit. And also, as I'm talking about now, uh, recently I'm starting to get a lot more profit, and that is because I have more coins to play with, and that's how it always works. The more coins you have, the more the more easy, the easier it is to make profit. So, you know, definitely get methods to get coins, low amount of coins to start with, and then once you start rolling the coins, start trading, you know, expensive silver, silver cards, informed, and the profit will just start to roll in, and I definitely, you know, recommend you do that, because it's a really effective uh, way of making coins, just, you know, informed, silver, uh, silvers, uh, change players. I I sound like such a like new commentator at the moment, but I'm not. I'm getting quite well. I'm getting quite good. I've been doing it for about a month and a week now, and I think I'm getting quite good. There's obviously so much I still need to learn about commentating and you know improving my commentaries, but hopefully I'm getting better. If you do have any feedback about it, please do leave it in the comments down below. I'm pointing down below, but you can't see my hands. Anyway, so uh, there's, there's a bit of a bid war on this Ruddy at the minute, so I don't know if he'll be worth picking up. This Lucas, if I can get him, will be really, really worth it. Well, I, would, I, I really want that Lucas. I really want that Lucas, to be honest. He's my my main aim. So we're going to go for that ninja bid. 16 seconds. Ready? Bang. I've, someone else did it. How annoying. Oh, if I'd bought him now, I'd have been so annoyed. I'd have been like, oh, this is awkward. Um, I don't know how high up I want to go. I've been outbid because I've yeah told you. So your coin total goes up before your your thingy does. Before you told you're being outbid, if that makes any sense to anyone. Stop outbidding me. All right. So that's six. Was it fifteen k? Was his lowest? Was it fifteen k? I think it was fifteen k. I'm I'm not sure. I'm a noob, ignore me. Or was it 16k? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> Shows how clever I am. There, I've forgotten. Now, this could still be a good a good deal, maybe. Let's go look. And he plays for Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, gold. Uh, Centre mid in a 4 3 3. Uh, please say I've not paid loads. Uh, 15k, please don't be a bunch, please don't be a bunch. Oh god, there's only Jadson's, good, good. So I said 15k, 15250 is when there's one, isn't there? Oh no, okay, this is <laughs> this is getting more positive. 16k, okay, there's a Lucas for 16, there's one up for 16, okay, and one for 16. Alright, so mine's going up for 15750. Um, 15750. And that will give me profit of 1,750 uh, coins, 15k. I'll make about 1,750 on him. So not huge amounts of profit, but you know every every little counts, every little helps is what I meant to say there. How much is Aston Sally? So it's Palmeiras, uh, silver. See, this is why it's good to you know know your market at the minute. I'm. I've completely forgotten, so always double check your market, you know, it pays off. Uh, there'll be loads of him up. 10k, shizer. I made loads of money on a Wesley, or well, loads of money, I made like 3 4k on a Wesley yesterday. 8 6. Hmm. 7 4. No, ah, this is not good. I may I may have lost Mune on Marcus Asensal. Which is annoying. However, um, how am I going to save this? I'll find a way to save it. Anyway, that is the end of this video because I'm about to reach the limit of you know time I can post a video for. So if you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. If you feel like you've learned something and want to see more trading videos, please subscribe, and I will see you all next time.